Hello, farm family. It's been a while, and uh, we're gonna make uh, Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> all right, so I forgot for a second what we were gonna make. So I look at all the ingredients. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna need. This is just how I do it. Uh, I don't know if it's right, but I like it to be fluffy. So that's what we're gonna do. You're going to need a stick of butter, a whole row of Oreos, if you want Oreos. So I put them in my bag. We're going to crush them up. A bag of marshmallows and some Rice Krispie cereal. Um, I'm going to start with two cups. We're probably going to need more than that, but I like to fold it in as I go. That way it can be not too hard or dry or anything like that. So... Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is crush up my Oreos. Somehow. This is what I use for my um, <laughs> Oreo crusher. <laughs> If you have a rolling pin, that would probably work better, but I don't actually have one, so. I never got you one? No. <laughs> yeah. And you can add more or less Oreos if you want. And also, this would be a really good recipe with other kinds of candies or um, cookies. Or cereals. Or cereals, yeah. We might do a different cereal a different time. Well, we have in the past. But. Yeah, I have in the past. I've done Fruity Pebbles, and Cocoa I've done Crispies. Cocoa Krispies. That's really good, especially with the Oreos, too. Mm-hmm. Super chocolatey. Yeah, it's good? Yeah, that's probably good. So you don't want it... I mean, it's all in your preference, but you don't want it to be super small and crushed up just so you could get a chunk of an Oreo. And then you're going to melt your... The smell of melting butter makes you want to have seafood. I don't know about you. You're so weird. That is not even the first time that you've said that in a video. He's good. What, what was I saying? Shrimp? Shrimp, yeah. I don't think we have it. Yeah, we do have some. I know we do. Actually, quite a bit of stuff in there. We might have used it when we made pasta when we had girls' night. Girls' night. <clears throat> let, me go let me refresh on that. <coughs> this is so much right Girls' night. Oh my. Ooh, ooh. That was way better. Uh, oh my. And if you got a crying cat over everything you cook over the stove, <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> Tell all your friends that you also have a cat. That meows every time you cook something on the stove. She thinks everything is for her. So now it's like kind of starting to boil, and I don't really normally want it to boil. So I just turn the heat off, and then I'm gonna put the marshmallows in there. It got sticky in the bag. And then you're just gonna stir it around until they melt, honestly. Sometimes if my butter gets too cool before my marshmallows melt. I'll just turn the heat back on for just a minute. I know. Mister, can you stop? What if a booger just fell out of your nose? I was breathing in. No one, so? <laughs> no one is gonna eat these. I guess they're just for us. Or for me. I might have to Because you wouldn't eat, eat it anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the heat back on. Man, it doesn't smell like butter no more. They're starting, starting to break to down. Yeah. Then, like, as soon as they're pretty much, you know what? Sorry, I just had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I wonder if you can make this with fluff. I probably can. 
But fluff's like really sticky from the gel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, but as soon as they're all one and you don't see individual marshmallows anymore, then you're gonna wanna pour in your rice krispies. And then you taste test the fluff. You just No. Don't listen to him. This is very hot probably. You can't be telling people that. What if there's a kid at home watching that? Viewer discretion is advised. David. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn this off because it's small. I feel like all our videos are slightly viewer discretion as well. Yeah, that's probably why no one watches. That's like the farm line. So while I'm doing this, I might as well give you guys an update on the animal. So Fred, he ended up getting better. Um, I had to clean his eye out three times a day for three days. By the second day, he was using his eye again, but um, you could tell that there were still a lot of problems with it. All right, see, now it's all one. You're gonna pour in the Rice Krispies. And then you're just gonna mix it in. And then we might need more. Yeah, slowly like that. All right, more quicker than that. <laughs> All right, hold on. So yeah, we're gonna need more. Put like two more cups into there. What, uh, syrup? Yes. So we started with two cups, but it's still really marshmallowy. So you're gonna wanna put some more rice cookies. Here, let me put it all over the stove. I was going good. I didn't make a mess up until that moment. That's like all right. 12 minutes in. Four Why cups. I, I ended up using four cups. I think that's probably the right amount. Some people also put vanilla extract. But I didn't. But you can. You're going to want to add that before you add the Rice Krispies. So after the marshmallows are already became one, became one, yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to want to add that, the vanilla extract. You do other flavors too. And then add the Rice Krispies after that. So yeah, this is a pretty good consistency. It's pretty stringy. I don't know if you could tell. So hopefully that means it's not going to be too marshmallowy. And now we're going to stir in our Oreos. Anyway, so after the second day when he was using his eye, and then I just kept doing it for a couple more days. The third day, he was uh, completely better. There was He was using his eyes. I didn't notice anything wrong, but I still kept doing it just in case. Just gonna want to form it, and then I try not to pack it down too much, just because I don't like it to be hard. And I don't know why, but I feel like that makes it harder when you can pack it down. So I just make it into a square, and then let it cool. It cools pretty quick. It does, but we'll probably taste Longer test cool. this. I feel like it's a little better. Too. And then here's your. Here's your Oreo Rice Krispies. It doesn't look good, as good on camera for some reason. But <laughs> there's those. And then you just cut them into pieces and enjoy it. Oh, and Baby's doing a lot better too. She is still having some problems, but she's eating a lot more, which is better. So hopefully things will start to... <laughs> She cries way more now. Yeah, she cries for food a lot. That's how I know she's feeling <laughs> better. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. And if you try a recipe, let us know. Even though it's not even a recipe. <laughs> or if you just wing it, let us know. Because yeah. we might want to wing what you're That's winging. Exactly. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, be sure to... Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. <laughs> And
tell all your friends.